Welcome back guys to another one. Today's video is more of a curiosity and a follow up to the previous review of the Black Ridge from Alpenphone, which is a low profile top down CPU cooler. In that video we discovered that if you use a slim 120mm fan from Noctua as an intake, as long as of course you have access to VLP memory, that combo should give you the best results in the Dan A4 SFX. But today I decided to give it an extra challenge and throw in my most powerful CPU that I have on the Ryzen platform, the 2700X, because we have more fan options to explore since we know this is one hell of a versatile CPU cooler. Before we proceed, I just wanted to show you that if I put the 2700X in my main small PC where I did all the tests and the other review, unfortunately the result is that one slim 120mm fan is not enough to keep this powerful CPU in stock form under 80 degrees, even with a fan at full chat. The extra permutations available when it comes to possible fan combos for the Black Ridge are either with a slim 92mm fan underneath with a 120 fan on top, or the most powerful version is with twin 120mm fans, one slim underneath with the mention of mandatory VLP RAM and one regular fan on top. I will test both variations in this video. The first setup with a slim 92 underneath is for example if you have the Ghost S1 case which can handle a taller CPU cooler up to 66mm in height. And even with the slim 120 on top you are still safe at a total of 62mm tall with the Black Ridge. For these tests I had to use another computer but I still reuse the Team Group Vulcan Z RAM since only with low profile memory you can make it work. Officially 33mm tall is the recommended number if you plan to use the Black Ridge with a slim 92mm fan underneath. But I have discovered that there is an extra 7mm left for you to play with which can give you a bigger choice for them. Also Noctua released the black version of these fans as well. The links are all in the description below. Ok let's fire up the first test, a quick round in ADA64 with the Noctua slim 92mm fan underneath and a slim 120 on top and the room temperature is around 18 degrees C. Well, it looks like it, it stabilized around 74 degrees C. The only drawback is that 92 slim fan is at full RPM and as you can tell it is quite noticeable. Now let's move to the other option with the slim 120mm underneath and then on top you can basically put any fan that you want. I'm using my Be Quiet one from the Dark Rock Slim Cooler. The Black Ridge comes with its own metal clips for either slim or regular thick fans, but my Be Quiet has a different frame so I just zip tied it to the heatsink like so. Thus what you see here is potentially the best fan combo for this heatsink. Mind you don't forget about the VLP RAM for ITX boards. Here I just remove one RAM stick since it is an ATX board. Overall the temperature dropped by only 2 degrees, but it is way quieter. I think we can shave an extra few degrees if we tinker with the voltages and give it like a locked overclock value. So there you have it guys, the Black Ridge is very versatile and can theoretically increase its cooling potential depending on what case you want to use it in, because this in turn dictates if you can install the second fan on top. Nothing else to add then, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Alex out.